Hey Vikes, I'm Emery and this is your Monday Report. And this is your Monday Report. I'm Lane and this is your Monday Report. I'm Augie Chappas and this is your Monday Report. I'm Sophie and this is your Monday Report. The freshmen will be presenting their Curiosity Day projects today and tomorrow. Come check out their projects in the library. Shawnee North Community Center will be hosting a children's shopping spree on Saturday. If you're interested in volunteering, you can either wrap gifts or be a shopping buddy. If you would like to join the Writing Center staff next semester, see Ms. Sands for applications. They are due December 17th. Does your family have an amazing holiday light display? If so, contact Ms. Riley so you can be featured on the Seaman News. Also, final waivers will be passed out today and tomorrow. They must be turned in by Friday during lunch. Bowling tryouts are this week. Good luck to everyone trying out. And on Saturday, the swim team won their meet at Lansing with 156 points. Now over to Josh with the weather. Oh my, something crazy is happening today. We had our high temperature at 1 o'clock this morning. That was 48 degrees this afternoon. Not even close. Our 3 o'clock forecast is just 32 degrees. We're getting that high coming out 1 a.m. So a big drop off in temperatures as an Arctic map moves in. And as we take a look at the wind chills, that's going to make it feel even colder outside. Hovering to around 20 degrees early afternoon, then dropping into the teens by tomorrow morning. So tomorrow morning, it's going to be very cold outside, even colder than this afternoon will be, which again is colder than this morning was. So here's that Arctic blast moving down. You can see we're right on the edge of it. Most of it stays to our northeast, but just close enough to get pretty darn cold out there. And here is what we're watching for about a week from now. You can see maybe a winter storm coming in Sunday into next Monday. There could be some rain and snow as we get closer to that time period. Of course, the details very uncertain at this point. Just stay tuned. We'll keep you updated here with SVTV weather. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. You can see that cold weather sticking around through Tuesday. Wednesday is not a bad day. Mid 40s, pretty seasonable for this time of year. And then warmer Thursday and Friday before that system moves in by Sunday. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Josh. The end of the semester is getting close, and there are some updates from the counselors. Hey, Vikes, I'm back with another episode of Counselor's Couch, and Mr. Alexander is going to give us some information. Okay, last Counselor's Couch of the year. So we have a lot of stuff we need to pack in. So I put my glasses on or I can't read my note. Okay, pass-fail forms. If you uh, are needing to pass-fail a class, then you, and this is mostly for juniors and seniors, then you need to come see the counselor because you have to have that signed by your parents as well. Okay, uh, senior part-time schedule forms. Now we're coming around all the senior classes today and tomorrow, so you can wait to get it then, but I just thought I'd tell you as well. Those need to be done before Christmas. Uh, senior intention survey was posted on Schoology under the class of 2020. Might go on there and take that. Maybe will help the counselors better serve you getting ready for your departure in May. And Ms. Ross is doing the pennant project, which is she has pennants up in the hallway in the counselor's office and really wants to try to get um, a card with each student's name on what they're doing next year on the pennant. And also, if you're going somewhere and we don't have your pennant, then she wants to really work on getting a pennant for your school. So we'll also talk about that during the senior um, when we talks when we come around to government classes. Visits this week, uh, today, during CLP time are the Marines and they'll also be here tomorrow at lunch. Um, something that you might want to talk to them about. I do think that they have a scholarship for just a scholarship for anybody that's going to college. Um, you don't have to join the Marines to get it. So you might want to talk to them about that. Washburn will be here during CLP time tomorrow, the 10th. And then on the 11th, the Air National Guard will be here both during lunch and during CLP. Okay, a couple of reminders from the counseling department. One, finish strong, okay? You only have this week and then finals next week. Make sure you study. You don't wanna like 
dip down below passing. So then we have to rearrange your schedule in order to make up classes. So finish strong, get that done, especially seniors that want part-time schedules, you have to finish strong. Last thing is second semester schedule changes. You know, you can start coming down and doing those. A lot of people have, a lot of classes are filling up. Um, I know that the counselors will be going into the government class, so there might be some periods where we're not there, but keep trying back and try to get that all done before Christmas. And we're almost there, so a few more days and you'll be out for two weeks. How great is that, Emery? Good. All right, thanks for the update. That's it for today, Bikes. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.